Hello. I cannot get my hair to behave. The humidity is making all of the curl that I can usually hide really, really well come out. So I look like a little guy. <laughs> Hello. Stranger, of course you were first. As soon as I decided to play Hatopo Boyfriend, I was like, well, get to hang out with Stranger tonight. <laughs> Hello, welcome. Apologies for the room being the way it is. That is called Con Crunch, and I wish it upon none of you all. Ever. I am hopefully going to at least one or two days of Dragon Con this weekend. No matter what, though, I have a really cool cosplay shoot on Sunday. And my room being an absolute disaster with like a wig and shoes and all this stuff piled on top of my little Sam's and like this mess. That is all runoff from me doing school, coming home, sleeping, cosplay, going home to, to sleep, school, cosplay. It's a cycle, an endless cycle. Ugh, God. How are you guys? Cause I'm here to romance birds. Cause I needed a comfort game, which tragically, Hatoful Boyfriend has become a comfort game for me. I don't think it's supposed to be for, for me, but it has become one, so we're stuck here. God. I have no clue which bird I'm gonna romance, though. I'm going in without a plan. Midnight, I'm sorry. I'm gonna get rid of you. Goodbye, the midnight. I have no clue which bird I'm gonna romance. Okay. Come here. Hot Topo boyfriend gameplay, come to me. And I hope the music isn't so loud. It makes like bust my eardrums. It was earlier when I opened it to test that it would screen share, screen record, whatever you call it. God. Let's see if my thing will be nice to me and show you all the game. There we go. Bird dating sim. I don't know which one I'm going for. I went in with a plan the second time and it made the second time so much easier because every choice I made was very strategical and I thought about it and I knew what I wanted, which was the evil pigeon. Partridge, excuse me. But now I don't have a plan. Now I have no clue what I'm going in for. And like the first time I didn't have a plan, but the first time, it's different now. I know everyone. I know all these bitches and I'm going in without a plan. I kinda wanna see what's up with those brothers, stepbrothers, cousin, the ones that betrayed each other, and I wanna know what their beef is. But also, I I never pick the pretty boy usually to romance in dating sims. So I feel like I, I my instincts will be completely off and I'll have no idea who to choose or what to choose or what to do. Because I usually choose crazies, um, the murderers, uh, the dead ones, the vampires, uh, <laughs> the, the, the evil ones are the ones I usually hear, like the super stoic ones. But the closest we have to that, I guess, for super stoic is in theory, the teacher? I don't know, I can't decide. I don't know what to choose. So I think I'll just go in and, cause like the first time I went in, without a plan for like the first week or two. And then I, I settled on a bird and I made choices that I thought would align with that bird. But I think this time I'm gonna go in 100% answering completely honestly as just me and we'll see what happens. Maybe. I'm trying to avoid though doing Ryota's route cause I'm almost done with my Ryota cosplay and I wanna play Ryota's route in the cosplay. Because I think it would be fun. And I have the wig literally it's staring at me. Like, I have it. I'm so excited to play it. But I want to do it in cosplay. I want to do it with the full the full experience, the full look, the full whatever. Let me fix that a little. That's better. I was looking a little washed out. Okay. I need to choose my name. Last time I did trans rights, I stand by it. But I need to choose something new and unique. Hmm. Enter my first name. I'm gonna do my first name as Cloud again, but my last name. I did trans rights. 
I did gay rights, I think. What should I do? Can I advertise? No, I can't. Well, hold on. Yeah, I can do it with the occasional vowel. Ah, damn. No. No moon mirror plugging for right now. Let's see, what's a good, annoying ass name? Hmm. Look at. I think I did Miku actually the first time. First name moon, last name mirror. How do I go back and change the first name? Because that's smart. I don't know if I can. Cloud. Cloud. I can do the studio name. Hmm. I'm gonna. D I have an idea. I don't know if I know how to spell this idea. I'll just go with gay rights. Hmm. How did I spell this last time? I took out all the vowels. Gay right. That's kind of how I did that last time. Work. Is it, do I wanna keep this or do I wanna try to do Moon Mirror? Cloud out there. Wait. Okay, hold on. It's not okay. I'm re-entering my name. Let me see if I can do this. For the gays. I did it. Oh, wait. Do I have to switch them? God, Because it's different phonetics. Fuck me. No, I'm keeping it. We're Mirror Moon today, bitches. We're Mirror Moon. Okay. I have to do this fucking intro again. Yes, always show them as people. Otherwise, I will not remember them. I am so face blind towards these fucking birds. Okay, we've done this intro now twice before. This is not a unique experience. I am back at pigeon school, like I wasn't just freshly decapitated last time. And I'm going, I'm the only human at this pigeon school, and it's, I'm the only human <laughs> in the world. Let's just get through it. Oh god. Did I already make choices by speeding through the intro without realizing it? I hate it when games play me like that! Oh my god, it's Ryota. My baby. How do I do his voice? I think I did it like a little bit like how when I do a Deku voice, I think. Usually you'd have been ready for an hour by now, Moon. I think that's, I think I go in the back of my throat like that. Overslept? I think that's what I do. I thought, if I remember. That's him, that's my baby. Can't wait to cosplay this fucker. This, this is a rock dove named, oh god. We're back at the point where I can't remember how to pronounce anything. I did not, guys, I think I might, so I've never been tested for dyslexia, but it's been kind of assumed that I have like some type of letter and number blindness. Because of my autism. And that was proven today on one of my uh, film quizzes. So, if I mispronounce anything, or misspell things, I've learned why, I guess. My teacher told me to get tested. Anyway, <laughs> I haven't played his route. I'm saving it to do it in cosplay. I'm saving it to do it when I look like him. I'm gonna romance him while looking like him. Very excited for it. I'm gonna have the little dress. My shoes came in, they look fucking adorable. Anyway, we've been friends since he barely hatched. He can be a little mischievous, but he's responsible and kind. He's the perfect femboy, people. Breakfast was a little hard to catch today. I can't, ugh, I hate this. I feel like I cringe every time I say this. I can't relax without red meat inside. God damn it, I forgot that this game does this to me. It like makes me want to go to therapy. Living as a hunter-gatherer sounds tough. I'd be happy to make you breakfast, you know. 
I might take you up on that offer when starvation looms. Thanks, Ryota. Can't. Oh, the bell already. Come on, we need to hurry to class. God, why do they talk like this? I love it. I've been rewatching Fruits Basket. They talk exactly like this. Jeepers, no good being late on the first day. And so Ryota pulled me along into the school. Today is the start of a new semester. I wonder what lies in store. Hopefully not being murdered this time. I'm not going in with the with the goal to be murdered this time. I definitely did last time and I do not regret it. But I'm not going in with the goal to be murdered. I am going in with the goal to be a responsible student. I am going to see where my heart takes me when it comes to be to, to romancing a bird. Realistically, if I'm following my complete gun instinct, it will lead me back to the nurse, so I will be trying to be smarter than that. I hope we all get along. Oh, the teacher's here. That is a bird. I, fuck, what vo was voice do I do for him? God, I'm just gonna give him the most neutral voice in the world. Good morning, every birdie. Uh, I'm Nanaki Kazuaki. I seem to be your teacher this year. I specialize in math and physics and also some other things. And he's dead. Rip. Uh, sir? Oh, wake up, it's homeroom. He sleeps with his eyes open. He's a cutie. He looks like an Italian character though. He's a quail. I've heard the rumors, but I hadn't expected him to fall asleep just like that. That's me. In cosmetology school, I was known for being the person who could fall asleep anywhere, anytime, any place, for any reason. And I like I like to say that I have kept that up. Good for me. God. Oh, I'm I'm sorry. Um, isn't it a little warm in here? Uh, which reminds me, we have a transfer student. Please introduce yourself. Oh, fuck, Shirogane. The muscle memory's a little bit stuck in there. Oh my god. It's Tamaki. Oh, what is the point? I have no wish to speak with commoners. Do not think I'm here because I wish to be. Little oh, fruity bitch. Oh, uh, well. Guess that's that. Ryota, shut up. I'm not even gonna... I'm not even gonna... You ever realize that Ryota's kind of a little Deku-ish? Anyway. Um, but he doesn't want to introduce himself? But we can't just let him break the rules like that, sir! The system will collapse if we- God. I forgot that I'm a bootlicker. Well, when you put it like that... Could you at least say your name, Shirogane? Shirogane. Shirogane La Belle Sakia. That's a fruity name. That looks like a Black Butler character. Actually, I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna say what all of them look like. Okay, so Ryota looks like a Fritz Vasquez character. The teacher looks like a Italia character. He looks like a Black Butler character. And he's stuck up and he's a pretty boy. And he's the one that has like the weird, not, is it his stepbrother or not? They, they, they have beef either way. They hate each other. Due to family drama, very intrigued to know why they hate each other, and if I can, like, repair their, like, sibling bond, and that's my romance, that'd be exciting. That, that's kind of fun. I think this little bird is telling me there's gonna be trouble down the line. Oh, Miss Mirror Moon. Lunch already? Today is slipping by so quickly. That reminds me, I've had these books out from the library all summer. I'll return them now. My school would have started to fine me if I had done that. Mirror Moon, you're lucky you don't have a fine. Someone looking at me? Probably just my imagination. Show me the ghost boy. Yes! The morning dove stands in a dark corner, staring in my direction. Morning doves aren't very common in Japan, but apparently they're everywhere in America. It's true, some used to live out on my porch. Um, did you want something from me? Oh, he's just a little guy. He looked away, he's all nervous. Not really. I'm pretty sure it was him who I felt looking at me. There's no one else here. 
Are you sure? Yes, I don't want anything with you. Bitch, I have romanced you in the past. I know you don't remember, but I remember it. I was there. It's the things you're carrying and I'm interested in. He glances at the desk to say, as if to say, hurry up and return them already. Oh, sorry. Um, they were a little too dense and I never finished them. Were you waiting for them all summer? He silently returns his gaze to his book. Rejected. Maybe he's in a bad mood? I'm Mirror Moon. Exclamation point Moon Mirror in the, the chat to get the Kickstarter link. A sophomore! What about you? Your... Nagaki. Fushiro Nagaki. Fujishiro Nagaki, yeah. Freshman. Nice. Whoa, right? The link is real? Look at him! Look at him. Pretty boy supremacy. What is this link? Should I click on it? I think you should. I think you should click on it and read all about the premiere production from Still Out There Studios. Camp Moon Mirror, a tabletop role-playing podcast, an audio drama based around the tabletop role-playing game Monster of the Week. I think Nagaki would love it. I think Nagaki would kin Kane. Anyway. <laughs> Leave me alone. He's reading his book again. Oh, okay. Sorry to bother you. You know. Because. Look at him. And look at the, the art of Cain. They both do the same hunchy thing. They're both like, you know. I keep meeting depressing people today. Now that I have that out of the way, I'll head back to class. Wait, isn't that... See, that's the brother! I want to repair their sibling bond! You should have been instructed not to approach me in school. Come on, Sakio. What kind of thing is that to say to your own brother? Okay, so they're- okay, so they are actual brothers. It's, it's not like your parents married each other and you don't hate each other? After all these years? I want to know what their tea is. My brother. You must be joking. You've never once been a brother to me. I want to know. But I'm probably not going to go for them because neither of them are my fucking type. Please, don't try to talk to me again. I have no time for half-breeds. Oh. Is he racist? Is he bird racist? Did I repress the fact he's bird racist? That's so fucked up. I guess even if we're at the same school, what's done is done. I hadn't meant to eavesdrop, but I think I just overheard something juicy. Me. The ever popular trendsetter and ladies man, Sak- Oh god, Sakazaki Yua? Is Sakia's brother? Spelling. Words in my mouth. Wonder what the story behind that is. I do too. Hey. You heard that whole thing, right? Are you a friend of Sakia's? Friend's a strong word. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to listen in on you. <laughs> no sweat. I try to stay sexy and suave in front of all you little ladies. That there wasn't too cool. Why does he speak like Indy? <laughs> Yuya, I thought I said that. I said that, right? Yuya. Yo, Yuya, I said that. He looks like he's from Oron. I've never talked to him before, but he's famous or infamous throughout the school. Every birdie knows of him. Yeah, because he fucking looks like that. You're Moon. Mirror Moon, right? Uh, how did you? I know every birdie here. Besides, you're the only human single poppy in a field right get off my case weirdo did you say you were a friend of sakia's not exactly we had a rather ballistic introduction this morning we're in the same class that's all i never have thought that stuck up aristocrat wannabe was your brother damn bitch good no longer a bootlicker i think he is an aristocrat actually the genuine article in the flesh boo boo eat him He's a bit of a pain, so, uh, good luck, mon ami. Adieu. 
And he's fucking gone. Under a bird speaks French to me. Get out of here! It really is a noble bird. I've never heard anything like that about Yuya, though. Probably a twisty business. I'm sure, Queen. Well, that's all for today. Stay safe, everyone. Yay! I love school being over forever! Huh? Uh, sir, where's Ryota? You took you till the end of the day to notice he was gone. Tag yourself. Bestie of the week! Uh, he said he was going to the infirmary. Maybe you should go and see if he's still there? Now that I think about it, Ryota always did have a weak stomach. Ken, I should go to the infirmary just to make sure he's okay. Go, queen. Excuse me. Nobody's here. Someone's sleeping behind the curtains and the doctor isn't here either. My hunter-gatherer instincts feel no presence. There's no birdie here. It's- uh, I get to see him again. Ryota! No reply. The infirmary is empty. Where? Did he go home already? I feel a little nervous poking around the empty room. Show me the guy. Unlike Ryota, I'm perfectly healthy. So I've never been here before. Fucked up! Whoa, they have all kinds of drugs in here. Queen. I'm not gonna say any of those. What do these even do? I do care, I do care to find out. Oh my God. It's him. I hate that I'm reacting like this and he looks like that. Just like give it like a minute. Doctor. That's horny. Alfie, do all sorts of things, if you want. Bitch. No, thank you. Not this time. Fine as hell. I like him. A little weird. Ugh. I miss you. I miss you, Shu. He is rather creepy in person. He has a bad reputation among the student body. It's because he decapitated me and I was into it. Everybody knows that even just talking to him can bring you down with... Things that suck. And I never even heard him come into the door. A ninja doctor, Queen. You don't look like you have a good reason to be in here. Did you need something? Um, I, I heard Ryota Kwari from 2-3 was supposed to be here. Him? He's already gone. Oh. Why didn't he come find me before going home? Uh, sorry to bother you. I'll be going now. And I'll never see him again for this entire playthrough. Finally out of that den of evil. Ryota's already gone home, so what do I do now? Oh, I never got around to joining a club last year. Maybe I'll go take a look at some of my options. I think there are clubs for baseball, soccer, track, and uh, bird watching feels racist. Wasn't there another one? Anyway, I'll start with the track team. I ran in middle school and it's always fun watching the birds hop around. I think there are club rooms on the ground floor, off to the side. <gasps> I forgot about him! I always forget Okasan exists. Actually, I might, you know what, this might be the Okasan route. I just always forget he exists. He's not a fixture in my mind at all. <laughs> Which is fucked up to say. This is no pudding for a man. Okasan rejects it! It is a lie! A vicious falsification! He's dancing around on squashed pudding. Hey, that's not very nice to the pudding. He's still just a bird! I can't! He doesn't really look it, but supposedly he's a fantail pigeon, I think. Either way, he's hyper. Okosan has suffered a deception most vile, a wretched betrayal. Betrayal? Ugh, maybe I can't be loud. Maybe that's why I'm not doing Okosan this time. Ugh! Okosan instructed that pudding to be provided for new members. But this is no pudding. Ousted, scorned, betrayed, dragged into the street, and shot by those he trusted most. It's squished and filthy, but the thing under his feet looks like normal store-bought pudding. Oh, what's wrong with it? Spare the Jess, young lady. <laughs> I forgot, he slaps me. They'll rue the day they crossed Okosan. He'll have them flayed, hanged, shot at dawn. He will! 
Okay, so I must now tra train to achieve true pudding. Farewell. And he's gone. Bye, King. He's a good runner, but what does pudding have to do with the track team? Isn't it a secret cult? So into the first day of my second semester at St. Pigeonation. I don't know why that was not comprehending in my brain. Am I that fried after school? I think we want to choose the class council today. As you all know, this school doesn't require you to join any club, but if you want to, you can. And if you don't, then you're free to go home after school. Ogosan only has time for the track team. Well, that's good. What about you, Shiragane? A foolish question. I already hold a position here. Oh, that's right. You became student president when you were admitted. Nepotism? Don't we get to vote? Just coming to school is enough for me. Aww, baby boy. You have to take care of your mother all on your own and... Huh, well, I wonder what I should do! Go fuck yourself, Ryota! Anyway! What do I want to join? Do I want to join anything? I'm gonna join student council! You know what? Fuck it! I'm... I'm on the pretty boy route. I want to know what his beef is. Fuck it. I have no idea how to romance pretty boy. Well, well let's do this. Today's an elective day. What should I do? Attend. Okay, so I was given a hint when I was romancing the doctor because I had to take math every day. I was told that before doing it. I don't know what to do now. I guess music. Music sounds like it'd be a pretty boy thing. We sang birdie melodies. It's a little tiring, but singing together is fun. I level up, yay. The library is right there, you just student council. I did the library the first time. I romanced the, the ghost bird. I was able to put his soul to rest by teaching him how to love. I was pretty sure I wanted to join it, but what does the council do again? We skipped the vote, and I think it's only Sakia and me. Anyway, he called a meeting, so to the council room I go. Just me and one other guy, ruling everything. What? Uh, this looks like a CEO office. Naturally. Do you think I would stand for anything less? I can't stand him. Hi, Sakia. So you had this done? Huh, this room used to be filthy. Better suited to rabbits than us. Yeah! What an asshole! Have you decided what position you'll take? I get to choose? Well, who is there to choose for you? Whoa! Yeah, aren't you Japanese too, Sakuya? Do not mock me. I am French. A French noble bird? Yeah. Wow. Okay, let's see what I want to do. I want to be the straight up president, but you won't let me. Um, I'll be the vice president then. And we'll have like a, maybe a sexy rivalry? Well, I didn't say I wanted to help you. I said I wanted to like come for your position. You wish to be my right wing? Huh, you've got nerve. I like that. No, I mean, I, 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 uh, yeah, I think I just got bonded with. Gosh, he looks pretty happy right now. So I became vice president of the student council. I was trying to rivalry you. I was hoping we could have beef by the end of this. That's fine. Well, time to sit in my cave. Sitting at home is so relaxing. Oh, tomorrow is the class hike. Should I prepare anything? We won't be going far, so I don't have to. Well, health is first. I think I'll have some mood on and go to bed. Okay. Good night. Today's the hike. We stopped for a break on the on a hills. I wish my school did hikes. Who should I talk to? Well, I guess I have to, if I'm going for him, I'm got, I've gotta just put my whole vertice. Unacceptable. What? Why? Why do I have to come to a place like this? And on foot. It's a hike, Sakia. You, you have to walk. 
For what purpose? As exercise? Oh, foolishness. Exercise is for peasants. Well, no, it's for fun. You're supposed to enjoy the change of scenery. Let's look over there. Don't we have a nice view? Sakio still looks like he has something to say, but he reluctantly comes over to me. I think he's acting angrier than he really is. Sheesh, what a kid. Didn't know I was in the process of romancing a fucking Leo with an Aquarius fucking moon and a Libra fucking rising, but whatever. You too, Sakia? I love hiking. Sakia can suck it. What do I want to do? I have really low wisdom. But I don't need more vitality. That's I'm just gonna go to... Am I gonna have to be smart for something? I feel like I don't have to be smart to romance Sakia. Cause he's like, like that. I'm gonna use both hands for it actually cause he's like that. Give me, oh shit. I didn't know we were romancing in this moment. Do you seek to mock the great masters of the fourth Philistine? Damn. Breathe, son. I leveled up though. If you're fine with hiking one way, it's going back the test me and oh, star. Hike in a big loop, that way you never have to turn around. Uh, I imagine you're all aware, but the sports festival's right around the corner. Please think about what you'll do. Sports festival season already? If it were in the fall, it would conflict with the cultural festival, so it's always been in May. What are you gonna do, Ryota? I haven't decided, but probably the three-legged race. Some birdie has to do it. Of course, I'll handle the marathon. Of course you will, buddy. Do whatever you want. You do have a lot of stamina, Oko-san. But what about you, Sakia? You can't possibly be me, expecting me to run in some race, can you? Well, it's a sports festival. <laughs> Is there an event that doesn't involve running? But how about being the cheerleader? He called him a slur. The general, in other words. Very well, leave it to me. Um, I, I don't think, um... Also, the first aid team is always shorthanded, so I'm sure they can use some help if any birdies still can't decide. I helped last time! I enjoyed helping! Ryota's doing the three-way race, Oka's on the marathon, and Zaki's the cheerleader. Uh, that's true, I could get brother T. Hold on, Yuya could be running the first aid tent, since I'm not trying to romance the nurse. So, I wonder if I could get brother T and mend their relationship? But I don't want to mess up romancing Sakia. I'm gonna go get brother T. I want to know what their beef is. What should I do? I'm going to the nursing tent. Let me, let me, let me go. I'm going to the first aid tent. I want to know what's going on with their... No, I did not. God, I hate him. Salutations. Did you come to gaze into my eyes, Monami? Um, I heard the first aid team was shorthanded. Uh, alas, spurned for the sake of medicine. I must work harder to prove my love. Anyway, happy to have you. As you can see, we have plenty of work to do. Yeah, the obstacle course does always hurt a lot of birds. Why use a game designed for humans? Beyond me, Monami. I suppose it's tradition. Well, where's the doctor? Shouldn't he be here too? Over there. He's resting in the shade of a tree, some distance away. It looks like he's taking notes on the performance of the birds from the track race. I miss you! What's he doing over there? Being a fucking creep. He doesn't want to ruin the girlish com his girlish complexion working in the heat. He does the same thing every year. Is he taking notes on something? A lot of the birds graduating from the school get scouted by pro sports teams, so maybe he's checking up on the promising ones. Oh, they've started. <sighs> we'll be busy soon. Get ready, mon ami. Yes, sir. I didn't get any brother tea. So I spent the fourth fest sports festival patching up damaged doves with you now. Learned some first aid from him, so it's time well spent, I think. I wanted Brother T! The first barrier for all students to make it this far, the midterm exam. I will fail. Mirror! Mirror moon! Yes? You worked hard. Keep going like that and you'll do just fine. One day you could surpass me. I'd love to see that. I doubt it! How? 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 
everything's going great for me. Am I gonna get decapitated again? With the festival in the midterm over, there's nothing to look forward to but summer heat. Doves smell kind of funny when it gets humid like this. Huh? There's a bunch of birds in front of the staff room. What are they doing? Oh, there's Yuya. What is it with Pisces and the urge to meddle? I want to meddle so bad. I'm the nosiest person in the universe. I want to know everything about everyone all of the time because I think humans are just so fucking fascinating. I think humans are so fucking cool. And I want to know everything in the world about every human ever. I cannot tell you why. I just know that I want to. Yuya, what's going on? Salutations, Moon. Brian won his seventh Pulitzer. He gestures at a news clip on the staff room pen board. Wait, this, the Brian is real, right? Isn't Brian a real pigeon? Yeah, I think I've heard the name, but I remember this from last time. Yeah, he's the world's most famous blogger. Yeah, no, he's a pigeon blogger. Uh, he's real. He's a very skilled and insightful writer. Oh, it's wrong person speaking. He was the one who suggested that the Dove Olympics be called the Pidgey Olympics. He's extremely influential. The name was adopted right away. Why don't you look him up right now, Monami? Try Googling Brian Pigeon. I did last time, and I realized he was real, and it changed my life. Why can't you romance Brian? Because he's real! Because Google Brian Pigeon! He's real! Oh, lunch is nearly over. Adieu, Moon. Get out of here. Bitch. Okay. Well, I'd better hurry back to class. I'm struggling. Now I want to romance both brothers and have them fight in a yard. Huh? There's a big pile of overturned desks in the middle of the floor. Ryota is overturned next to them. <gasps> they look pretty different upside down because rock doves underwings and bellies are light. Poor baby. I mean, wait, what's going on? Oh, Okosan and Sakuya are. <laughs> I look up to see the two of them in each other's throats in the corner. I think we might have a diplomatic incident on our hands. What happened, Ryota? Sakuya was making fun of Okosan, and he called him a stupid mongrel who only thinks about imaginary pudding, and he said he was ashamed of being in the same class. Yeah, that's reason to deck. I get it. That is terrible. I mean, Hokusan is a neck case, and I don't know what he's saying half the time, but he really does like pudding. And I'll support him. Either way, Hokusan went kind of for the jugular, and you tried to pull them apart, and Hokusan used wing attack on you. <laughs> yep, you're our only hope now, Mirror Moon. Uh, and then Ryota dies. I was hoping they'd at least draw them at each other's throats, as pigeons, if nothing else. Okosan will, will not allow Pudding nor himself to be ridiculed. You will apologize. You tell me to take back my word? I shall not. I'm gonna make him purposefully extra fruity when he fights. A monger like you hasn't even the right to speak to me. Okosan is not a mongrel. The battle still rages and it looks like Ryota's sacrifice was in vain. I should... Listen... I think Mirror Moon has a low tolerance for bullshit. I've been playing her with a low tolerance for bullshit, I feel like. I will get rid of them both. Okosan, calm down! Do you think Okosan can calm down after such insults? Well, Mongrel, Mirror is on my side. You too, Sakuya! You have acted immaturely! What? What? Oh, maybe he's into being told off. Oh, no. No more fighting, you two. Take this for Ryota! And then I fucking kill them! Oh, my God! I threw them out in the fucking courtyard. S stay out there and think about what you've done! Jeez. Yeah, I have, like, a good two feet on them, too, don't I? Because they're, like, three feet tall. So I've, like, killed some birds. Oh, well, today's a good day. I feel like I'm shining. Wonder what I should do during break. Go to the, what should I do during break? Oh, I forgot. I don't have to go bother my guy anymore. Uh, I can go to the store. I can do some shopping. Girl queen, yes, girly pop sleigh. I can go do some shopping. I don't really need anything, but I think I'll go to the store. Never really looked around there before. Wow, 
love. They've got all sorts of things for sale. Although these nest building materials look like what you find in a human source trash. Aw, oh, damn it, am I accidentally romancing Rihanna? I'm fine with that, I guess. As long as I get one of the brothers in the bag. My, how mature of you, Monami. Planning to settle down already? Get out of here! Ugh. Yuya! Yeah, yeah. No, that's not it. I'm still a high school student. That may be so, but you know we don't reach sexual maturity within a year of birth. They do? That seems a little hasty. Uh, that aside, what are you here to buy, Ryota? Did I call him Ryota? I did. I called him Ryota. I caught Yuya. What are you here for, you? Your love, of course. Fuck off! M my Yuya, that, um, we're not... <sighs> I'm not good enough. Oh, well. I'll have to try again later. I know you're only trying to bag me because I'm a human. Is this how he talks to every girl he meets? No, I'm a bad bitch. I think that's a little rude, Yuya. I call him Ryota twice? It's because I'm thinking about my special boy. Well, what is? That sort of loose talk. Like I'm a game or something. You know, that's the first time a girl's ever said that to me. I'm surprised. Thank you, Monami. I'll carry this warning in my pigeon heart forever. I do. They're, so the brothers are into are into being told off. Noted! Okay, it's an elective day. Back to music class, I guess. It's just where I've been going. It's where I find the brothers, I guess. We all have to stand up and sing solos today. Aw, Okasan has a beautiful singing voice. That's great. Leveled up. Let's keep it going. Today, it's Tanabata. I'm gonna go make a wish. Whoa, there's a lot. No. Whoa, that's a bad contraction. Whoa, there are lots here already. Any birdie I know? Bitch, you're my precious baby boy. May mother stay healthy this year. May my stomach get better. Ryota. Nothing's impossible for the French, or impossible isn't for the French. Cool. Can you hear the song of the stars above? May they send you happiness, mon ami. Shut up. <laughs> Buy another alarm clock. May I wake up on time? Oh, buddy. What should I wish for? I feel like this option was not there before. I don't feel like this option was there before. I'm instantly gonna choose it. The mad love of a fallen angel? Pinky promise? The fuck? I wish- I- Give! I wish for the mad love of a fallen angel, I say. All smiles. All glitter. Oh, hello. Is that you, Mirror Moon? Mr. Nanaki! You should be careful out this late. It can be dangerous for a girl, you know. Well, I was about- Oh, no. Oh, wrong. Hmm? He was about to head home. I was about to head home. Would you like me to walk you to your place? Sure. Give me some tragic backstory. Yes, please. All right. One day when I romance you, teacher, it'll be over. We demonstrated some extreme sleeping on the way home, but we arrived eventually. Your house is very rustic. Mirror. I like it this way. It's wonderful to have a place to come back to, isn't it? Wonderful indeed. He looks a little sad. Um, sir? See you tomorrow! Don't forget your homework! <laughs> and he's gone! God. Or was it just my imagination that he sounded hollow and sad when he left? Why do French people- I think French people are cool. I like the French. I like learning how to speak French. I like when every time I've visited France, I fucking adore it. I've been to Paris twice and Normandy once and I loved it. And I want to go back to Paris really bad. And my dream wedding is in, in Versailles, ideally, but anywhere in Paris, basically. 
I know what I am. And that's a little fruity bitch, so today's an elective day. Cancel! I know! Cancel me for liking the French! Call out post! Take me back to music class. I've been placed in charge of the timpani today. Timpani? Last time it was the gong. Uh, what am I supposed to be? The musical gorilla? Queen, you're the only one with arms! You're the only one with hands! It's the least you could do! Just a little longer until early release days. Finals are coming up and the glum depression is already setting in. But at least we won't have to swelter in the classroom all afternoon. Why is a school this famous even stingier with its air conditioning than a public school anyway? You'd be surprised. Moon! Ryota! Have you had lunch yet? I'm about to go to the cafeteria. Do you want to come with me? Okay. I've heard they've expanded the menu and I wanted to try it sometime. They have massacred ramen now. That's like half dead fried rice. Probably! And oh, oh, where is he? What? What's going on? Who's this? Wait. I turn around to see a short dove staring, standing behind me, his chest stained a deep red. You? Are you the one who called forth this disaster? The one who invoked the broad terrace of the blue sky? What? I have no idea! The- the- the blood! You're- you're bleeding! My- my chest! You- you are- who is this? Ryota, I- I don't think he understands Japanese! We need to get him to the infirmary! Uh, oh, don't worry. Look closely. He isn't hurt at all. What? But- but the blood! He's the Luzon from the class next to ours. Their plumage just looks like that. What? Really? Is this Angel? Stranger! Stranger! How did I get him? Stranger! Is it because I- Wait! Is it because I chose the weird wish? How did I unlock the weird wish? Stranger! anime voice. Like, oh, I wish I could do like a good, hmm, I could need a good antsy anime, I don't know. What's it? I'll just go, I'll just lean into it and I'll see how Correct. I am here, oh, here, 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 Tommy in it, lore mode. What does that mean? What does that mean? What does Tommy in it, lore, out of here. The fallen servant of God, stained with the blood of sin. He's fine as hell. I've been waiting for him. I thought I wasn't able to get him for a very long time. This impressively upholster bird is Hikure Angel. Is it Ankyo? Are you sure it's Angel? He's in the class next to ours, so he must be another sophomore. That's an odd name. I wonder if he came from overseas, like Sakia. His Japanese is kind of strange too. He's fine as hell. Not gonna lie. Ugh, the corruption spreads faster than expected. I had hoped to find it before he came this far. Sleeping servant of the heavens. Yes. Um, he, he is talking to me, right? Time is slipping by. Judgment draws ever near. You must find the truth by the light of the red. What is happening? I'm overwhelmed. <laughs> I must last a little longer. Be silent, crimson breast. What? You're so you are hurt. Like you're hurt, aren't you? Do not touch me. Farewell, Edel. Wow, the blue sky. Fate decrees that we shall meet again. Okay. He's gone. And I have no clue what the fuck just happened. I think you've picked up a weird one, Moon. I'm pretty sure every single one of my friends has said that to me every single time I have a crush on someone. Let's go eat lunch. <laughs> uh -huh. Wow. Oh, okay, let's unpack. Actually, no, let's keep going. It's too hot, I'm gonna melt. Pathetic mirror, as expected of a mere mammal. Aren't you uncomfortable too? I thought doves fared badly in heat. Letting your weakness show in front of others is the mark of, a vulgar of the vulgar class. Huh, maybe I should take a leaf out of your book. 
god, why is there just like, does he just bust in? Is that why there's just like the sound of shattering glass? Does he just fucking like slam in? He's like, guys, I'm having another fucking vision. <laughs> the red eye of the demon led me here. You summoned me once more, Apostle of the Blue Sky. Him again? Who is this? I think he's named Angel. He's the class eccentric from next door. Hm, another peasant. None of you have the right to even be in this school. What the fuck? I'm not saying some of this. <laughs> Luzon Bleeding Hearts are from the Philippines? I actually, yeah. I was about to say, I only know that because of Manila Luzon the Drag Queen. I inferred it. The Philippines have bananas, right? Cool. Incidentally, Saki is about as unhinged as Angel, so maybe they should be friends. They could kiss. I'd be down for it. I have no business with you, Hell Magician of White. Apostle of the Blue Sky. Uh, yes? Can you not remember who I am? Uh... I'm gonna guess correctly because I feel like I've played her... I have played her weird enough up until this point. Like, she made a weird wish. I'm gonna say she made a weird wish. And so, could you be a fallen angel? Escape from the demonic prison of Judeca? Judeca? Have you woken at last? Apostle Edelblau. We have but little time left. You must decide. Will you cross swords with me on the promised ground or breathe? No, not now. Hey, angel? He flies away down the corridor in spite of my protests. What a busy bird. And everyone else in the class is like, The fuck is this? <laughs> oh, well, we get our finals back today. Mirror. Sir? You didn't do too badly. I think. Yes? You never, you never mind. You did badly. I'm, I'm sorry. Oh, no. Try harder next time, okay? I disappointed Mr. Nanaki. I'll have to study more from now on. How did I even pass the first time? Today's the last day! It's been a whole semester already! Sometimes it seems long and sometimes it seems, seems short, but either way, it's summer now. I'll go return the books I have out from the library. I like how now it's just the sound of shattering glass and she's like, oh hi Angel! He appears like the Christmas star descending from the heavens. Edelblau of the blue sky, I am about to open a gate to the other world. What will you do? Uh, a gate to the other world, do you mean? He stares intently at the end of the hallway. I think he's just crazy. I kind of in love with him. The infirmary? A mere disguise, Edelblau. He sends a powerful evil magic inside. No doubt the tree of blight, Rufa, has taken root within. Alone, and she'll soon swallow the entire school. We must stop it now! I wonder how Dr. Iwamane would react to the eccentric Filipino breaking down his door. Um. <laughs> Shu will kill him. Uh, the time has not yet come, Crimson Angel of Judeca. I'm gonna play along with his roleplay. Is that true, Edelblau? Indeed, my demonic red eye feels no murderous aura. Perhaps it would be wise to wait and observe for a while. Uh, that, that's probably a good idea. The doctor doesn't take too kindly to roughhousing, I think. Angel leaves, satisfied. I am mentally exhausted. I'm in love with him. It's easy to fall out of practice and get fat and lazy during summer vacation. Me, every vacation. A hunter gatherer's his body is her way of life, so maybe I'll go running today. Go get it, queen. Little silent running noises. Just, you know, running. Ah, <sighs> that was a good run! A true running girl's way to start a vacation. I could never. I wonder how far I ran. I always attract where I'm going once the runner high kicks in. Where am I? Oh, I must have wandered out of my usual stomping ground at some point. Which way did I come from? <laughs> Oh yeah, I forgot, we get to meet the pretty girl. Don't fail me now, paleo paleolithic homing instinct. The sun is setting, and I'd rather not sleep outside. Hey, you. Huh? 
I don't know you. Where do you come from? By the way, side note, because you, her everything reminds you of it, Nana's on Hulu and Nana's also coming to Netflix, so if you want to watch a really good fucking anime, watch Nana. Sparrow stands next to me, squinting up at my face. Her wing is resting on a motor scooter. It looks a little vintage. How cute! Serve, girl! I feel a strange pressure. I can tell right away that the sparrow isn't just any birdie. Um, I'm from St. Pigeonations. I was out for a run and I got lost and... You ran all the way from there? You must be good. It's about a two hour drive from here. What? I guess that's why my legs hurt. <laughs> well, I wonder if I'll be able to run home again. Hmm. I like the cut of your jib. Anyone that determined deserves a ride home. Come on. The intimidating sparrow gestures at her scooter. It's a little small, but we should both fit, I think. You just in my lap. Uh, thank you. Uh, may I ask your name? Koshiba Azame. Azami? Azami. Why'd I say Azame? I can't read. Azami. I sell Takayaki. Oh. Talk Wait, Takayaki sounds good right now. Shit. Leo, Takayaki, can we go this weekend? Call me Azami. Then thank you, Azami. Ooh, actually, I've decided officially what I'm excited about when con season comes back, and that is food you can buy in the dealer's hall. I love food you can buy in the fucking dealer's hall. You're a very cautious driver. Carve it into your soul, kid. One accident is all it would take, and that'd be the end of both of our lives. It may seem strange to a young girl like you, but once you've lost someone, you understand. There's a far off look in her eyes. Um, I'm sure you know what you're talking about, but at this rate, I might get home faster by walking. Uh, do you think we'll get there by, by dawn? Carve it into your skull! The speed limit for scooters is 30 kilometers per hour. We're not even going that fast? Following traffic laws is part of my credo. Is it riding tandem against the law too? That rule is for humans. Birds are light, so one or two more doesn't stop the brakes from working. We're fine like this. I'm not a bird. And so we go very, very slow. Yeah, you did. You did forget it. Ugh. Orion and Aaron went to H Mart today on their way to Dragon Con. I want to go to H Mart right now. God. Actually, stranger, remind me and Leo to take you and Suffer to H Mart. Still a long time until the semester starts, and I still have a lot of homework. Maybe I should apply for a part-time job, because I still have the chance. Do I want to apply for a job? No, I don't want to apply for a job because I I don't want I don't want to be like, hi, welcome to Wendy's. What can I get you? Shattered glass, shattered glass, shattered glass. Should I open the fucking portal? <laughs> I don't want to deal with that. Slacking off and having fun is more of a high schooler thing to do. Today is the local summer festival. I think I'll go with some birdie. Invite. Let me invite Angel. Yes! I do want to deal with that. I wish that happened in my job. God. Put out the energy that Spirit Halloween gives me my fucking money. They're like a month late on giving me any of my money right now. Big beef against Spirit Halloween currently. God. The I'm I wish I could speak. The appointed time and place, but Angel's nowhere to be seen. He said he'd come, but is he gonna stand me up anyway? Well, this is the right time, isn't it? Is my phone's clock off? Hmm, maybe I should go ahead by myself? Edelblau. Huh? I can hear him, but where is he? Uh, a Angel, is that you? I am here, Edelblau. Wild Angel appears. You scared me! Shh! He frantically glances about. A lower demon of Baal. I can still feel its presence. It lurks nearby, it'll blow. Fighting evil again, Angel? You have but just awakened. It is too soon to bring you into battle. Take this. He hands me... A charm. Okay. Thought he was about to give me a fucking gun. This will protect you from the forces of witchcraft. 
but we should leave this place nonetheless. Uh, you're right! Come on! Let's go to the festival! This is giving me the energy of, like, crazy, weird, goth boyfriend, cute pastel girlfriend. I'm very into it. It's giving me Twilight. It's giving me Fallen. It's giving me Crave. It's giving me all the classics. We love to see it. He still is high strung the violin. Maybe he's not used to crowds? Is this your first time coming to a summer festival, Angel? I was born beneath the star of solitude. I'm not allowed these pleasures. Oh, don't, don't tell me you don't have any friends. Why does he fucking look like that? I'm sorry. <laughs> he looks the most ridiculous. His head is so tiny. An Av- Aviskelar? An Aviskelar of chaos! Why here? Why now? He's staring agitatedly at his stand selling cheap toys and trinkets. Um, that looks like a normal goose to me. When the chaotic wings of the reaper appear on this earth, the echoes of the inn shall be heard from across the land. Edelblau, you must undergo training. It is easy to learn track of your exercise regimen during vacation. And so Angel and I enjoyed the festival in our own special way. Ah! I knew I should have gotten up when I first woke up. I slept way too late. School starts today, right? Oh, I'm gonna be late. Go, queen, go. Get out of here. Oh. Hello, Mirror Moon. Oh, sir, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I overslept. Overslept? Oh my god, my homework, I forgot to bring my homework in. Aren't you getting a little ahead of yourself, Mirror? Huh? What does the number in the top left corner say? You all don't know, but I know. It's August 30th, which was yesterday. You're just a little bit early. Aww. Though, since you're here, can you lend me a hand for a bit, Mirror? Lend you a hand? I was about to start grading the freshman's exam, so I thought maybe you could help if you don't have something else. Of course, you have a test in September, so you want to go out and study in the library. I want to... I want to help! Yeah, I want to know what's up. So I spent the morning grading tech in the air-conditioned staff room like a proper little lady. This tea is very good. Oh, the voice I do for... The voice I do for Hyoko is just the voice that Toru has in the 2019 Fruit Basket. That's fine. It just clicked for me. Fine. It has mango in it. I do like sweet tea. My bad! I forgot to say what anime Angel looks like he's from. Obviously Black Butler, but also obviously Death Note. I'm probably more Death Note than Black Butler. Maybe. I don't know. The hair's pretty Black Butler, but the aesthetic's pretty Death Note. Uh, good morning, everyone. I hope you have fun over the summer. Oko-san is always having fun. I'm sure. That's just... What is this? Fun. Once summer's over, time starts slipping by faster than ever, so try to stay focused. He's dead. Uh, focus, sir! Focus! I like the little sounds. This semester has a lot of events. The culture festi cultural festival is coming up already. We're planning to do a cafe, but we haven't decided on the theme yet. Huh? There's a student ID card laying on the floor. Did some oh, it's the murders! I forgot! Oh, this guy's dead dead! Agaki Yoshio, 2-2. Two, two. Who's that? Oh, I guess I should take this to the faculty room. Hi, sweetie. What's going on, Angel? You, you must not. You must not say forbidden name. It shall open Pandora's gate and bring about the end of all things. Uh... This ID card owner is going to cause the end of the world? And what's Pandora's gauge? Angel... Why are you actually Agaki? He's perfect. Edelblau, seek you to torture the servant of God? You must not speak the names of angels. You must not sing songs about the names of angels. You must not say it! Oh, buddy, do you need some water? Perhaps my wish was not granted. Oh no, wait, um... I 
can either continue to hype this bitch up, or I can be like, you have a nice normal hit name. I'm gonna go all in. Fuck it. I... I will feed into this man's bullshit because I'm hoping that it's real. Accept the contract offered to you, fool! Wh what You cannot have forgotten, Adelpau. You, the angel of fire who drove me from this world and imprisoned me in an eternal cage of ice. Are you saying you will join me? You are not alone, angel! This is very scene kid. This is very like, oh my god, I'm a vampire, and the girl just like going along with it. I like it. Very well. We shall seal the contract on this ground, Adelblau, fleeting as it is eternal. He's just gonna scribble on his ID card. He looks all happy. Oh, poor little guy. This shall be our proof of our alliance. Keep it with you. Uh, places his ID card in my hand and strides away. Why do I have to carry this around for you? I'm in love with him. He's a little fucking weirdo. God. He's, I, is he gonna be... Am I gonna like him more than Crazy Doctor? I really like the evil doctor. I think they like two different things, cause like, I, I, I love scary doctors, I love horror doctors, I think they're really fun, and like weird scientists are cool and sexy and fun and cool, but there's just something about like, your everyday guy who is convinced they're a supernatural creature, I do love Twilight, you know, I get it. I know where I am mentally. I'm gonna go to music again, cause I've, that's just what I've been doing and it feels right. I feel like I'm having fun. Oh, I forgot my recorder. Oh, I don't think we have any spares. Uh, I cannot pronounce that, but I do have it. You can play that? Yeah, I, I can play it and I can slay, so. I did level up. Show me my crazy boyfriend again. Show me this beautiful, weird, religious trauma goth boy. Lunchtime. The cafeteria switches to the fall menu today, right? I wonder what they have. Uh, is Moon here? Yuya? What is it? Usually I'm the one looking for you. Are you finally being drawn in by my sexy and gradual style? What is happening? Exactly. Your bountiful allure stands out from afar, drawing me ever nearer, like a guiding Polaris, smelling, smelling of udon. But that's not what I came here to talk to you about. Yuya lifts Angel up by the nape of his neck and holds him out to me. What are you two doing together? Do not fear, Edelblau. This man is not our foe. Um, what exactly is, uh... Well, I was going to clean up the infirmary and... Oh my god, flashback. Ah, the demon blight, the demonic blight grows stronger with each passing day. When, when will the time for action come? Hey you, what's up? You, be you a fiend of darkness spawned from the deep pits of Erebus? Well, I might be a little bit of a creature in the night, but I wouldn't call myself a fiend, no. My proper title would be the Midnight Rose. I'm sure it is see it now. An apostle of the Violet Rose, forgive my suspicions. Demons lurk behind every corner, friend. Apostle of the Violet Rose. Sounds like the dashing masked hero in some shoujo manga. Suits me just fine. Oh my god, they're bonding. They're on totally different delusional wavelengths and they're bonding. That aside, I'd advise you not to go in there, if you value your life anyway. Warnings from those who follow the Violet Rose are heeded well by all but fools and dead men. The doctor works in here all night sometimes, and his concentration is admirable, but it does take a toll on his patience. If someone were to barge in while he was in the middle of something, well, let's just say it'd be a pity if that mark on your chest got any larger, you know? Are they gonna kiss? Have I been building up for them to get together? I'm down with that. Would the dark magician be so cruel? We must seal him away. Immediately. Uh, no, stop. I told you, man. Going in there is suicide. Oh, no. And he kept trying to go in anyway, so I picked him up and hauled him away. Okay? Well, I wouldn't call it okay, Yuya. Why are you bringing him to me? He said you were his friend. I thought it was wise to report these discoveries to you, Edelblau. 
Anyway, that's what that was all about. I'll let you take it from here, Bonami. Adieu. And he's gone. Not him being like, got your freaking twink. Bye. You can wait. Oh, why do I have to babysit Angel? Because he's perfect. Stop complaining. Well, let's go get lunch, Angel. Uh, I, I don't mind, but are, are you sure? Being seen with me may put your very soul at risk, Edelblau. Oh, whatever! Break is almost over, so let's hurry. She has a thinner patience than I do, because I would be like, yes, let's go put your soul at risk by eating in front of everyone. My wonderful angel of whatever the fuck. Let's go. I'd make it a thing for him. Today's a school festival. Our class is tied to do a maid cafe. I'm not scheduled to work until tomorrow, so I have today off. I don't have anything to do, so I guess I'll go look around. Is there a manga club here? I wonder if they're doing a zine or something for the festival. I think I'll go look. Loser! What seekest thou, Edelblau? Angel, are you after the manga club then? That makes a lot of sense. He's just been cosplaying his black butler OC the whole time. Indeed, this is my weapon. And he just shows me a fucking mapping pin. Okay. Whoa. Well, that would. It does look like it hurt. It would hurt if you got poked. It has stained many a day with the gore of friend and foe alike. Are you sure it's just not that you're careless and end up stabbing yourself a lot? What'd I do? My scarlet breast stirs. It's the music that fucking gets me. No. Why now? I shall leave this to you, Edelblau. I must go! In other words, it's your turn to run the stand and you want me to do it for you. Ugh. Do what must be done, Crimson Angel of Judeca. I shall follow the covenant of my blood to the end. Goodbye. He runs off to the courtyard. It's not like I have anything better to do, so I'll just take a shift for him. Might as well. I said I wanted to chill here anyway. Oh, I handed in my recorder instead of my math homework. What do I do? Is Mr. Nanaki still in the classroom? Queen, you can't be that stupid. Excuse me. Huh? Oh, I forgot. They, they're they totally exes. They're totally exes and they totally kiss. <laughs> Mr. Nanaki and Dr. Iwamane. I hadn't expected to see them together. And you see nothing peculiar about these numbers? Nothing at all. There is a statistical deviation visible in the data on the students from the past few years. I'd hoped to get some insight from you, but it would seem I have overestimated you. Really? Well, I'm sorry I couldn't help then. I... What do you mean, side? There's no side! I don't know their beef! They're exes! I'm gonna choose my teacher. That's not very nice, doctor. Am I gonna get stabbed? What do you want? Hello, mirror. What is it? Um, sir, I gave you my recorder earlier instead of my homework. So you did. Here you go. Here's the workbook. Thank you, sir. Sorry, sir. <laughs> like teacher, like pupil. Damn. And then they make out after I leave. Good for them. Lunch was good today. You can always rely on school food. No, you cannot. Did, your, did you guys at school ever have a waffle day? Mine had waffle day like once a semester. Best day ever. Huh? Isn't that... Angel? Shh. Angel beckons to me, completely visible despite his obvious attempts to conceal himself. I am in love with him. Do you not sense the quickening, Edelblau? Quickening? The demon spores swarm with alarming intensity. They come from there. He's looking at... <sighs> Still going on about the infirmary, huh? I have told you that is merely a facade, Edelblau. The Tree of Blight, Rufa. Yes, it's the incubator of absolute darkness. Well, that makes even less sense. Why is a fallen angel stressing out over an infirmary anyway? The entire school will be swallowed by the demon spores if we do not act. Were that to happen, my crimson breast would run wild, would run wild less more. Once, wait a sec, is he one of the murdered kids?
I'm not sure why, but it seems like he's planning to hurt me. Little do you know that the mirror family tradition is to kill first and ask questions later. But the root of all evil, the dark sorcerer, is not here at present. I must plan my attack. Rest easy until then, it'll allow. And with that, he returned to his classroom. Looks like a normal infirmary to me. Is something really gonna happen? Is he one of the dead kids? Got our finals back today between midterms and practice exams. This whole semester has been nothing but tests. Mirror, sir? Getting better, keep it up. Yes, sir! I'm great at math! Oh my god, I have a math quiz actually this weekend. I'm not great at math! Oh, it's Christmas Eve! But my family's Buddhist, so we never do anything special. Huh? Some party's here. Coming! There's no one here. Well, I could have sworn I heard the doorbell. Maybe it was a prank. There's a little bag at my feet with a note. To Adel Blau, Apostle of the Heavens. Must be from Angel! Inside, a crucifix? Oh, and a letter. Let's see. Judgment draws near. Let us meet at the promised place. The Crimson Angel of Judeca. If you're gonna ask me out, can't you at least say when and where? Me? <laughs> me trying to decipher everything that all the weirdos I have crushes on say to me? The sun, its majestic brilliance sweeps across the land, lighting it into incandescent glory. It's the first day of a new year. Looks like I'm still alive to enjoy it. A little cold out, but it's calm and the sun is warm. I think I'll go visit the shrine. I'm gonna be talking to Riona like, hey, you look great in your little shrine maiden outfit, my favorite femboy. What's up? And I'll just hear a bunch of shattered glass and I'm like, what is it, sweetie? There are a lot of birds here already. Must be nice to have warm winter plumage. Maybe I should borrow some from some birdie, huh? I think I'll buy an amulet and go home. Moon! Uh, happy New Year! Here's to many happy returns, right? Well, what are you doing, Ryota? Exactly what it looks like. I'm working here today and tomorrow. Oh, I, it, it looks good on you. You came here to buy an amulet, right? Which one would you like? Um, oh god. Fuck! Art makes the most sense, I guess, because I've been doing music. I don't know. I don't know what this- I don't know what this guy wants! There was no fulfillment in religion option. Thanks, Ryota. Are you here all day today? Yup. First day's always busy. Oh, well. I was gonna ask if you wanted to get lunch together, but... Sorry, Moon. Maybe some other time? But since you're here, why not go get a fortune? They're next to the main building over there. Okay, thanks. See you, Ryota. Hmm. Mr. Nanaki, happy new year. Oh, hello, Mir. Happy new year. Did you get a fortune, sir? Yes. Unfortunately, I seem to have drawn the chicken of ill omen. Why don't you take one? I will. Hmm, which one should I take? This one. What is that? <sighs> good. You had a better one than I did. I think this is gonna be a good year for you, Mir. What's a Java blessing? Oh, now I want Starbucks. <sighs> I want coffee. I haven't had coffee in days. I've been holding back and I want coffee right now. Thank you, sir. I think that's enough celebration for today. Time to go home. Huh? Over there by the office, isn't that? What did I say? I'm just gonna- t I'm minding my own fucking- Ah! The emotions are stirring in this crimson breast. Has a time of judgment come already, oh lord? Breathe! I said I wanted the mad love of a fallen angel. I did not realize that it would be identical to Twilight. I mean, I'm fine with it. I personally am down with it. I accept it. I understand that you're upset, but you're holding up the line? Angel seems to be having some sort of breakdown in the amulet cell. Oh, Moon! Good timing! Come get your goth loser! Angel couldn't decide what to get. Now he's hysterical. I'm gonna get my pay doc for selling slowly, and I need to get him out of line, but... <sighs> Looks like I gotta get... <sighs> I get to be Angel's babysitter. Who would have known? What's wrong, Angel? Do you know of the infinite possibilities of this universe, Edelblau? Infinite possibilities? The present is but a single point in the vast cosmic soup of time. Do I place myself under the protection of the wise Kingfisher or the guiding pearl? Or I must decide which one will come likely to aid me in the... How about traffic safety? You strike me as the type to fly out into the road and get hit by a car, Angel. 
Traffic safety is good. Ryota, can you give us a traffic safety charm, please? Uh, here you are. Thanks, Moon. So I paid for the amulet and dragged Angel out of the choked up line. You... You lifted the mighty burden of decision from my shoulders, Edelblau. I feel like this is what it would be like to date a Pisces. Leo, I'm sorry if this is exactly what it feels like to date a Pisces. Yep, don't worry about it. Here's your amulet. Don't lose it. I thank you. Guide me well, a wondrous pearl. So Angel took off into the trees, clutching his traffic safety amulet. I wonder if he'll remember to look both ways. Happy New Year, everyone! I hope you all had good vacations. I hibernated. What a shocker. And he's hibernating again. Ken, you're still hibernating! Sir, wake up! Oh, um... Sorry, I've said this before, but your junior year will be over before you know it. Let's enjoy the time while it lasts. Well, there's nothing special this semester. Nothing to worry about. Let's go. It's still light out, so maybe I'll go somewhere before I head home. Wee. Oh, tomorrow's like Kuman Tides. Oh no! Do I- uh, what do I have to buy to make sure I don't kill Angel? Because some of those kill people. The Times is a holiday where you give beans to the boy you like, but apparently it's used to involve throwing them at pigeons. Disgraceful. Good evening. Here for beans? Yes. Is there any kind you think is particularly good? Okay, let's see. Just, what should I buy? Is there, like, blood? <laughs> what is going to bag me the crazy guy? <laughs> What is gonna bag me the Pisces? What's gonna bag me the the motherfucker who's probably a dead kid? I have a theory he's one of the dead kids. I I have a theory he's totally a dead kid. Um What do I am I gonna kill him? I don't wanna kill him. What do I get him? I'm tempted to look up what's best to get him so I don't kill him. But I, I think Ryota's the only one you can kill. Don't kill him. I d now you're stressing me out. What would kill him? Oh god. Well, if he's already dead, it doesn't matter. But if I don't get the right thing, then he also won't love me. I put in a lot of work babysitting him. I want him to love me. What do I get him? God, this, is, this sucks. I like to imagine Hyoko saying all of this out loud and the clerk's just like... I might not. You know what? Um... Oh, I don't know what to get him. I feel like he needs to calm the fuck down. I will take these so he can shut the fuck up. Today's the day. The preparations are complete. Time to give the beans that special sunburning. Angel's in class too, right? What are we still in the classroom? Da -da 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 -da. Angel, are you in here? I like how it's just accepted that I'm dating this guy. <laughs> Hi, Angel. Um, I have something to give you. Quiet, Edelblau. We are in grave danger. Oh, what? Angel pulls me from the room and runs through the hallways of fleeing from something. Do not call me in that room, Edelblau, for a terrible evil lurks within. Well, not that terrible, but... There's a risk I could be cursed if others were to learn of our connection. In other words, the other boys in your class would make fun of you for having a girlfriend. <sighs> Sorry, Angel, I wasn't thinking. Well, it's human time today. Do, do you want my beans? If it is your wish. I hope we get to be in the same class next year, Angel. I accept your love, Edelblau, and... Angel! He leapt through the window and flew away. Angel! Get your ass back here! It is Valentine's Day! God! That motherfucker 100% has an air sign, Venus. This has been a long year.
gotten involved. Well, well. Mm. An eccentric fallen angel. That's the only one I feel comfortable saying out loud. Huh? There's a letter on my desk. The time has come. Meet me at Roof of the Tree of Blight. The Crimson Angel Judeca. It's from... Yep. Is he planning to break into the infirmary? The doctor being what he is, I'm worried for Angel. I'd better hurry. Was he right? He was right? I love being a Pisces. Because that meant whether I believed it or not, I was going along with him because I wanted it to be real. Oh, bitch. This place is like nothing that belongs in the school. It is time to end this. Dark Sorcerer Wallenstein. What? I have waited for you, Crimson Angel of Judeca. Waited from the very beginning. Huh? <laughs> the Tree of Blight has fed on the flesh and blood of the innocent and has opened the gate to the Dark Sorcerer. What? We stand at the very border between this world and the next? And so you have appeared, lowered here by the, the taint of Sheol leaking through, just as planned. So, your plan has been to swallow the school into the abyss all along. I shall not allow the tree to meet maturity. Oh, please do not misunderstand. Wait, that laugh makes me feel like now he sounds like the Undertaker from Black Butler, but I can't do that voice. I have no intention of bringing the end to this wooden toy. No, what I want is your accursed flesh, Angel of Hell. I am Wallenstein. You must agree that it is a fitting name for the Dark King. Come to me, spirit of evil. Is it killing him? Angel! A black miasma floods from his chest and is swallowed by the tree. What are you doing, doctor? This is cruel! You should know, reincarnation Adelblau, the apostle who sealed the crimson angel of Judeca. This dove holds within him an avatar of destruction. I'm lost! I'm so... An avatar of destruction? Have, have you forgotten, Nato Blau? That day long ago, in the time of gods and demons, when you took up the sword to end my rampage, I have drawn out the power you sealed within his breast within the forbidden Montriana. The Tree of Blight has consumed both the students of this school and the mindless power of the Crimson Devil. Welcome to the end. Uh, what is happening?! <laughs> I'm... I'm sorry, I'm... <laughs> now it's over. It's all over. The, the world will be swallowed by darkness. You can't give up, Angel. Adolflau. Have you forgotten, Angel? I, I still have that I ID card with the weird squiggles you drew. We still have hope. All we have to do is kill this final boss thingy, right? We can stand together, Angel. Shut the fuck up. I never thought the day would come when we two would join the battle once more. I, I had not the courage to face down my evil half, but, but you... Take this, Edelblau. <laughs> it's the mapping pit! <gasps> Say, Chrome, the Holy Spear is yours to wield! Oh no. I actually have to fight? Right? What is- what am I doing?! <laughs> what am I doing? Oh god, wait. I'm taking damage. Actual damage. Hold on. I'm pretty sure I literally said earlier in this thing I don't need more vitality. Oh my god. This is not good. I could die. Hold on. Oh. 
I could die. Wait a sec, this is not good. Okay, that has to be enough. That's 600 damage. Thank you. I was about to be pissed. No. Amnesia was destroyed. You miscalculated, Wallenstein. You did not account for Edelblau's presence here. What is happening? Oh, I must withdraw. Do not forget. I shall summon a second. Amnesia and a third until the world is torn apart by their thirst for blood. Wait, Wallenstein. What is happening? And so our adventure ended as suddenly as it began. We never saw the doctor at the school again. <laughs> what the fuck? What am I playing? <laughs> Angel, I remember everything. I remember your fall and I remember chasing after you trying to bring you back. And This is the Pisces route. <laughs> I thought the other one was the Pisces route. This is the Pisces route. <laughs> And you remember skewering me with this Skyrom imprisoning me in the cage of ice? Yes. I do not resent you. I had lost myself and was but a demon of blood, destroying all in my path. But the demon is gone now. Yes. I think you can live normally now, Angel. Angel, I... No. I hope we can stay together like this, Yoshio. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> he huddles in the corner, wailing in English. I guess that rule is still in effect. I wonder when he'll let me use his real name. That? Every time I think I have a grasp on what the fuck this game is, it gets shattered. Every time I think I have a grasp on what the fuck I'm playing, I don't. <laughs> What? Show me the ending I got. I just, I just want to know what the name of the ending I got is. To end, uh, that's a total way. Yeah, apparently. I have no clue what the fuck I'm doing. I came in here to repair a sibling bond. Remember when I said that? An hour and 37 minutes ago, I said I wanted to repair a sibling bond. Why the fuck? How the fuck? When this somehow became Evangelion? I'm lost as hell. Well, that was a fun stream. I like... I wanna go- I'm gonna go take a fucking bath and think about what I just experienced. I'm s- I'm still kind of lost, not gonna lie, but I accept it. I was fun. It was really fun. It was really, really, really fun. That was the Pisces route. I played the Pisces route and I fully enjoyed it. I had a lot of fucking fun. Okay. I really like this game. I really like this game. I like how short it is, it's really nice for my brain. I like how quick it is, it's really nice for my brain. And I like how fucking weird it is. God, I just, I wanna beat every route on this so I can move on to the Christmas one. Which I'm assuming is just as confusing and just as weird, so. I hope you all had a fun time watching me do whatever that was. I was into it. I enjoyed it. And I, I really like Angel. I like that he's a little weirdo. Play more! I will play more! Not now, though. I need to process. This is a one episode at a time game, because I need to, like, think and, like, cope. You know what I mean? God, I, God, okay, I will, I'll probably play more of this, if not this weekend, the next week, at some point. God. I need to talk to someone about this. I need to process fully. Stranger, I might ask to call you on Discord. 
<laughs> I need to process. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna end stream. Okay. <laughs> what the fuck did I just play? Okay, goodbye. <laughs>